A new year and a new car company, as Stellantis officially hit the road and share trading began. Formed from the merger of US Italian Fiat Chrysler and France's PSA, the firm is hoping to rival established industry giants like Toyota, Volkswagen and Hyundai. I'm very proud to talk to you today to tell you that uh, all of our employees and our management teams are totally focused in the value creation that is embedded in the merger of FCA PSA and the creation of Stellantis. 2020 was a challenging year for car companies as lockdowns forced factories to close, travel bans hit the car hire market and confinement measures saw people work from home and stay local, their appetite for new cars drying up. Fiat Chrysler suffered greater US sales falls than Ford and General Motors, with only its Italian luxury brand Alfa Romeo reporting an increase in purchases. The pressures on the market and the recovery challenges for this year will be a focus for the new firm. Stellantis represents an extraordinary opportunity in this challenging era, but yet very exciting one of profound change for our industry. This is where some of the first shares in Stellantis were bought and sold, the company choosing to start its trading life here in Paris as well as in Milan. It took more than a year for the Italian-American and French automakers to finalise the $52 billion deal. Stellantis now joins Renault on the French stock exchange. The listing of Stellantis marks the opening of a new chapter in the history of the global automotive industry. It reinforces your next strong automotive and components franchise and further consolidates Europe's leading position in this industry. The pandemic has forced auto firms to park their sales forecasts and refocus their business strategies, bringing brands together to consolidate, investing in intelligent vehicle technology and hoping that electric cars will drive a return to growth in sales figures for 2021.